right, what's your name, where are you from, and why are you here today? My name is Nick, and I'm from Texas originally, and I'm here today so I could make a little bit of cash. And you're working on the strip in Vegas doing what? Uh, selling out, car handing out cards. And what are they for? They are for the escort service for the Pink Dragon, to be exact. Yeah. Hey, no problem getting promotion in here. Anything you want to say about them? Uh, no, not really. It's not that serious. <laughs> I mean, I got this big ass pink shirt on. It looks like Pepto Bismol, so I think I'm doing enough advertising as it is. So. All right. So, do you face any kind of challenges with with law enforcement here, working on the street? But of course. Look at my. You know what? If you could look at my tattoos, if you look at my tattoos, that's um, that's what you would call a preconceived notion. You th you look at it and you think, hey, he's a gang member. Or I'm up to no good. Like I got harassed like two or three days ago, just because of how I was looking. I wasn't doing anything wrong. It was the the color of my skin, the way that I look, the way that my hair looks, the way they like I could sit up and I could talk, just like the next person. It doesn't matter. It's the skin color. It's preconceived notions, bro. All day. So what happened to you exactly? Nothing. I just got a. Uh, they kind of like fucked with me. You know what I'm saying? Asking for ID, asking for my social. You don't well, need. So my you were stopped. You were detained, yeah, right? I was detained, but I was standing up. I was just standing right by the stairs, and they just came up to me and was like, "Oh, what are you doing? Where are you?" You know what I'm saying? Like I was posing a threat, but I wasn't. Were you working like you are now? Yeah, sat on the big pink shirt and everything. And so they know what you're doing. They know what I'm doing, but they're still gonna fuck with me because they want to, like. Can we really ever stop that? It will, it will. Well, because they got to justify their budgets, right? And they'll do, they'll, they'll bug people, innocent people well, to mean, make a paycheck. It's not even their budgets, bro. It's the, the fucking, it's our budgets, the taxpayers. Like, who, those big-ass prisons that are being built, who do you think pays for those? It's not them. What the fuck? Like, I'm just saying, though. So, it's funny, on the strip today, the first thing we experienced was watching a couple guys get arrested for having snakes on the street, a couple performers who were just doing their thing actually with a permit. And, and of course, they were uh, both, uh, one of them was a gentleman of color, the one who first got arrested. Um, but is this something that's unique to working for an escort business, or is this just being, being a black man on the strip working, or is this street performers? Not even street performers or anything, bro, just being black. I could be a goddamn tourist with a fucking Gucci bag and all of that shit. It doesn't stop me from being black, and it doesn't stop the harassment. Because then you must have stolen it. Yes, I've stolen it, and I've sold drugs to accumulate the shit. So, it's whatever, bro. I mean, we, we will never, ever in life, bro, we can't stop this shit. We cannot stop the harassment. We can't stop none of that, bro. Like, if anything, certain people like that shit, and they get a kick out of that shit, bro. So... I mean, is my, my take on all of that shit, bro, it's horrible. We all just need to get better. Well, do you think it gets better or worse over time? It's going to get worse. Why? I guess because I'm just being pessimistic about the shit, about the whole situation. Just law enforcement in general, they don't like us. Well, hold on. Nevada just legalized marijuana, right? That took away a huge excuse that cops had to fuck with people. Didn't that make they things better? Them from fucking with me that day. So <laughs> you can make, bro, we can make laws. We can do all of this shit, bro. But we will never be able to conceal racism, bro. It's it's open. It is open, bro. Well, it's, it seems like the worst manifestation of it is always through government, right? Or government agents, at least. It's when you give people that arbitrary power. Like, I mean, do you really have a problem with someone who, I mean, yeah, it sucks if someone's racist and they're sitting at home and they're going, man, I don't like black people. But... You really shouldn't have a problem with that compared to a cop who has government authority who can bother black people without any accountability and, and come out and, and actually harass people, right? It goes. Whether you're sitting at home, whether you're in my face, it's wrong. Well, can we make race like if, if racism is inherent to the human condition, I would agree with you on that count. Can we make it so that it's less harmful by not using government to empower it? We could. I'm not sure, but... Would we be better off without police entirely? No, because, okay, now there, you still wouldn't have order. You do need order. I agree with that. You can't have private security? I mean, on the strip here, you have you know, we private security with every, every, every casino, oh, everything. Or like, like, do we, like, literally need a law enforcement? Right. Or do we just, like, can, do we just can have, we, like... Can we have, can we have private security? Could we have publicly funded stuff that actually looks out for public safety instead of enforcing laws for politicians like the police? I think that would be a good idea. 
I think we could. I think we could. But they make so much. Dog, do you know how much money that the police make? Do you know how much they make off of inmates? Do you know how much they, bro, this, this shit's not going to stop, bro. It's never going to stop. This is gonna, it's going to fuck up the flow. It's going to fuck up the government's flow. They need the flow of things. Even if it means killing off innocent people or whatever the fuck. So the rich can stay richer and the poor can stay poor or whatever. My nigga, like, oppression is something that you kind of choose. But it's also something you go through. I mean, either you It's also something humanity overcomes with time and gets better at dealing with. Do we not? Yes, but yeah, yeah, I can agree with you on that. I can't. I won't, I won't give that any rebuttal. But like I'm saying, I, I bro. I just want you to take comfort in knowing that it gets better over time. That as bad as racism is, it, it gets less and less powerful as we take away the excuses from government to mess with people. Now, let me let me ask you about the about the escort service. Do you face any kind of unique challenges, you or other people involved in the business? I mean, it's an escort service. Like, like I can hold up a fucking card and someone's going to be like, oh, my fucking God. Like, yes. I mean, it's going to offend some people, bro. It's going to be a problem. But for the most part, it shouldn't be because it's legal and but. As far as all that's going, is that concerned, bro? Like, who gives a shit? Well, I'm hoping that we get to the point soon where we realize as a society that if there's no victim, there's no crime. And then we take away any excuse for anybody who's in any kind of public safety service from bugging anybody if they're not hurting anybody else. Is that a goal you want to help us work towards? I mean, how can we stop that, bro? How can we really stop it? Can we really, really, like, start a revolution? Really? And if we can, if we are, you have to do it in silence. Yes. You can't make it, you can't let it be known. Look at the Black Panthers, bro. That was a known revolution, and it got taken down by the FBI, bro. Intel Pro. You have to do it in silence, and you have to have people that have the same mind as you. You can't be a fucking chicken flocking with the tigers. It doesn't work like that. Running with the lions. You got to run. You got to, you know what I'm saying? Sounds like you're a big fan of Bitcoin. Are you a fan of Bitcoin? Do you know what that is? I've heard of it, but I, I don't mess with it at all. Okay. Well, you got to let me evangelize for just a second here because you want a silent revolution. If people start using currency that's not government money and we take away their power to rip us off with the Federal Reserve System, with the banking system, with the taxation system, like we can all avoid taxation because we can all use digital money that nobody can track. That's your revolution. That's happening. I agree with you on that. I, I like that. I like your thought process, bro. I mean, it doesn't even really feel like an interview right now. It really feels like we're just talking. And it's the camera right there. Hey, what's up? What's going on? Well, anything else you want to share with our viewers? No. My, you know, we you don't want to plug the pink tray. No, I am not going to advertise for them. Like I said, I've already got on the shirt. That's bad enough. <laughs> All right. Thanks yeah, so much, brother. Great, Appreciate bro. it. That was great. fun. Thank you to YouTube for hosting this video and for being an essential part of human progress by making video hosting available worldwide to everyone on the internet. However, the next phase in human progress is here with Steemit.com and their video hosting alternative blockchain-based solutions, including DTube. And you can find that through Steemit.com as well as my own page there, at Adam Kokesh. This is a decentralized blockchain-based social media network that pays you fairly for your content. Already, I'm regularly making more there with a single post than I do from an entire month on YouTube. So please join us on the next frontier of the information revolution at steamit.com. And if you want help getting a leg up there, I'm happy to re-steam your posts and make sure that no one is starting from scratch. Just email me one of your favorite posts at adam at and we'll share it on my feed.